Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to delete emails older than a certain date in Outlook. There are two main methods to delete emails of a certain age. Firstly, you can use Auto Archive in the desktop app and assign policy in Outlook Web Access. Or, secondly, you can use a retention policy in Compliance and Exchange. Method 1, use Auto Archive to delete emails older than a certain date. For the web version of Outlook, right-click your inbox and go to Assign Policy. Then simply select a deletion date. For the desktop version, begin by right-clicking your inbox folder and selecting Properties. Now click the Auto Archive tab. Select the circular button next to archive this folder using these settings. Now use the up or down arrows to select a date next to clean out items older than. Then click the circular button next to permanently delete old items. Finally, click the OK button. Let's see if that worked. Great! The inbox is no longer showing emails older than 4 months. Method 2, use a retention policy on all mailboxes to delete emails older than a certain date. Please note that the retention policy will only apply to mailboxes with at least 10 megabytes of data. The policy can take up to one week to apply to mailboxes. All mail older than your chosen retention date will be deleted upon the policy's activation. Start by opening your admin center. Then click on the menu icon in the top left corner. Now click Show All on the left menu to reveal more options. Select Compliance from the list of admin centers. Next, click on Policies in the left menu of your Compliance Center. Then, under the Data header, select Retention. Click the plus icon to add a new retention policy. You can now name and describe your retention policy. Once done, hit the next button. Select a static retention policy type and click the next button. Toggle on exchange mailboxes when choosing a location and be sure to toggle off all other locations. Then hit the next button. Click the select box under retain items for a specific period and choose custom. Then set your preferred years, months and days. Now click the circular button next to delete items automatically. Then click the next button. Finally, review your policy and hit submit. With this retention policy in place, all emails older than 6 months will be automatically deleted for all mailboxes. If you want to create a retention policy for just one mailbox, keep watching for the next method. Method 3, use a retention policy on specific mailboxes. Start by opening your compliance center and clicking on data lifecycle management. Scroll down the left menu to find it. Then select exchange legacy from the revealed options. Click on New Policy and enter a name for your new policy. Then click the Add Tag button. Select any deletion date. Now click the Add button. Then click Next. Review your policy and click the Submit button. The next step in this process involves applying the newly created policy to a specific mailbox. To do that, Open your Exchange Admin Center by clicking the on-screen button. In the Exchange Admin Center, go to Recipients in the left menu and then select Mailboxes. Now click the display name of the mailbox you want to set a retention policy for. Click on the Mailbox tab in the navigation pane on the right side of the window. Then scroll down and click Manage Mailbox Policies. Click the select box under Retention Policy and select your new policy. Finally, 
Click the Save button. Perfect. Now the retention policy will only be effective for the mailboxes you select. That's all for this video. We hope you found this guide helpful. Please leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Also, remember to check the description for any links and resources. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.